Time now for Family Island News. Welcome to Family Island News this Friday. 49 kilos of suspected cocaine was confiscated by officers of the Drug Enforcement Unit, along with personnel from Outback yesterday on Greater Nagua. According to reports, it was around 4 o'clock yesterday afternoon when the officers arrested six men, all Haitian. We can tell you tonight that they were on board a blue and white 89-foot wooden vessel called the Trinity after being found in possession of a large quantity of suspected cocaine. The drugs weighed 123 pounds and have an estimated street value of $735,000. The suspects, along with the suspected drugs, were flown to New Providence today. An investigation into that incident continues. With 14 fatalities on record for the year, the minister responsible for transport and aviation, that's the Minister of State, Hope Strawn, is urging motorists nationwide to drive with extreme caution and care. She noted that the National Road Safety Committee met today and they plan to mount an educational campaign that will allow motorists to drive more safely. We haven't gotten any sort of empirical data on yet, is uh, whether or not um, the use of uh, phones and technical equipment, computers, and those kinds of handheld devices, whether or not they have actually um, sort of uh, affected the statistics in terms of fatalities and those who are injured. But we believe that it is a very, very uh, important that we emphasize to the public that that is, uh, uh, driving is really what we call a singular activity. And your intention should always be focused on driving. And if it is that you need to use a cell phone or to use some other device, that you should pull to the side of the road and do that. Welcome to Tips for Wellness. I'm Dr. Indira Grimes. Everyone wants to live healthier, happier life. In order to support you and your family's fitness goals, January has been designated Family Fitness Month. Eat healthy. Limit starches like rice, pasta, and potatoes. Avoid fried foods and eat lots of fruits and vegetables. At least half of your plate should be vegetables with each meal. Exercise. Physical activity is essential for good health. Plan family activities that will get everyone moving, like walking, beach days, visiting community playgrounds or parks, or play family sports like softball, basketball, soccer, or football. Quit smoking. Give up cigarettes. It's the best sing single best decision you can make to improve your health and your family's health. Sleep. Everyone should get enough adequate sleep each night. Try to keep the same bedtimes, especially for growing children. Maintain a healthy weight. If you are overweight, make a plan to improve your health. Involve your family and remember, losing weight takes time. You didn't put the pounds on overnight and it will take some time to get the weight down. This January, Observe Family Fitness Month and improve your health and your family's health. This has been Tips for Wellness. I'm Dr. Indira Grimes. Live your best by living well. This is your Royal Fidelity Business News. I'm Jimenita Swain. RBC Wealth Management has been recognized as the best provider of private banking services in the Caribbean. This ranking comes from Euromoney, a global banking publication. This is the fourth consecutive year that RBC Wealth Management, which serves high net worth and ultra high net worth clients in the Bahamas, the Cayman Islands and Barbados, has been recognized as top in the region overall. It was also ranked as the best among its pairs in the region for a bespoke wealth management and for providing high net worth services for individuals with 10 to 30 million in investable assets. The long-awaited debut of the new Cove Eleuthera Resort is set for Friday, March 1st. The invitation-only event is expected to showcase the dramatic transformation of the 40-acre property. Owner and developer Sidney Torres IV will welcome guests with the music and food of his dual hometowns of Eleuthera and New Orleans. Prime Minister Perry Christie is expected to bring remarks and guests can look forward to an authentic New Orleans experience capped off by a performance by Aaron Neville. And it seems sponsors aren't waiting for the trial to begin to reconsider their relationships with troubled South African 
runner Oscar Pistorius. Shoemaker Nike has dropped its endorsement deal with the double amputee 400-meter sprinter who became the first disabled athlete to participate in able body competition in last year's Olympics. Sunglasses maker Oakley has also suspended their contract with the runner who was just released on bail today in the shooting death of his girlfriend Reba Stamkamp. And that's been your Royal Fidelity Business News. I'm Jiminita Swain. Coming up, we meet the student of the week and her story will surprise you. You're watching The Bahamas Tonight. This portion of the news was brought to you by McDonald's. McDonald's, I'm loving it.